Hi guys, welcome to Demon Tutorials. Demon Tutorials is a place where students are preparing for the exams on the use of English and on literature. I helps to excel. Today we're going to learn how to pronounce and identify the schwa sound. How to pronounce and identify the schwa sound. A lot of people asked me how to identify the schwa sound in a word in my previous video on how to identify the stress level in a word. So that's why I'm making this video to enable you understand how to identify the sure sound in a word. Knowing how to identify the sure sound in a word will help you know how to place stress in a word. It will help you to understand which level in a word has the primary stress. So I encourage you to stick to the device you're using to watch this video and watch it to the end. The sure sound is one of the most regular sounds in English words. And there is no straight rules on how to identify them or how to use them. But I'm going to give you some helpful tips that will enable you to identify them in your exam and not stress them when asking questions on syllable stress. First, let's learn how to pronounce the short sound. The short sound is pronounced er. Uh, er. Uh. While pronouncing it, you don't open your mouth widely and you don't exert energy. You don't use that energy while pronouncing it. You say it in words like about, above, oblige, teacher, doctor, etc. Now, let's learn the tips that will help us identify them in words. The short sound occurs in words that end in er, tre, or. You also find the short sound in words that have two syllables or more that end with our. Words with two syllables or more that end with O-U-R, not in words that have only one syllable. Now, let's see words that end in E-R. We have baker, mother, ruler, better, sweeter, manner. The end of the words that contain E-R are pronounced er, er. And they are the sure sound. Now let's see words that end in T R E T R E. We have center, meter, little, theater, sceptre, luster. The end of the words are pronounced er, er, and they are the sure sound. Now let's see words that end in O R O R. We have educator, distributor, generator, conductor, constructor, refrigerator. Now you know that the word is not generator. The word is not refrigerator, but refrigerator, generator. The word is not distributor, but distributor. You understand? So the ORs at the end of the words are pronounced er. Uh, Sure sound. When a word that has more than one syllable has O U R at the end, you should pronounce the O U R as a sure sound. A, uh, a, uh, color, behavior, neighbor, endeavor, favor, ranker, honor, etc. So when a word has two or more syllables. And end in O U R. You should always pronounce the O U R as the sure sound. Er, uh, er. Uh. The sure sound is also found at the beginning of words. At the beginning of words, a word that starts with an A, and the A is being followed by a consonant sound. Actually, there are three ways of pronouncing a word that starts with an A that is being followed by a consonant sound. You can either pronounce it as er, uh, sure sound. You can also pronounce it as R, especially when the A is being flowed by an R. You can pronounce it as R, long R. And you can also pronounce it as a short R, R, like an act. Accent, etc. Now, on how to identify A at the beginning of a word that has a short sound, what I'm going to give you are some tips that will help you to identify A at the beginning of a word that has short sound. They are not rules because there are exemptions, so see them as tips and not as rules. Now pay attention. At the end of the lesson, we are going to answer questions from the past questions on this topic. 
Now, when you have a word that begins with an A, that is being followed by a consonant sound that is not R, what you should do is to check if the word is a concrete noun or an abstract noun. Check if the word is a concrete noun or an abstract noun. I hope you know what a concrete noun is. Concrete nouns are names of persons or things you can see, touch, and feel. Names of persons or things you can see with your eyes, you can touch with your hands. For example, building is a concrete noun. Building is a concrete noun, but the word accommodation is an abstract noun. Apple is a concrete noun, but vitamins is an abstract noun. So when a word has an A as the first letter and is being followed by a consonant sound or a consonant letter, then know that the A will most likely be pronounced as a short sound, R, except if the consonant following the A is an R. Now, let me illustrate some examples. This word starts with the letter A, and the letter A is being followed by a consonant letter or a consonant sound. But we're not going to pronounce the first letter A as a short sound because they are concrete nouns. Examples are apple, alligator, ant, ankle, etc. So, because you can touch your ankle, you can touch an ant, you can see and touch an ant, you can see and touch an apple, you can see and touch an alligator if you have the mind. You can see and touch an alligator. They are concrete, they are the things you can see with your eyes. But you cannot touch a word like ability. You cannot touch a word like adoration. You cannot touch a word like advantage. You can touch amazement. Anger, annoyance, anxiety, appetite, awareness, etc. Because they are abstract nouns, names of things you cannot touch nor see. Names of things you cannot see with your eyes, you cannot touch them with your hands. For example, you cannot touch anxiety. Can you touch anxiety? No, you cannot touch anxiety. It's a name of a state. So it's not a name of a thing you can see. Or touch so it's an abstract noun that's why we pronounce the first letter a as a sure sound a eh? so when you have a noun that begins with the letter a that has been followed by a consonant letter or a consonant sound then you have to pronounce the first letter a as a sure sound if the noun is an abstract noun, but if it's a concrete noun, like alligator, you have to pronounce the first letter A as A, A, short A, alligator, ant, apple, because the words are concrete nouns that begin with the letter A. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Now, when you have a word that begins with AR, where the AR have a single sound, that is the R is not pronounced, the R is silent, then the AR will be pronounced as A, long A, and not as a short sound. For example, argument, artistry, articulate, um, architect. These are words that begin with AR, and the ARs are being pronounced as a single sound. They are pronounced as a single sound. The ARs are not being pronounced. So that's why they are pronounced as long R. R, articulate, artistry, um, architect. They are pronounced R. But in a situation where you have a word that begins with AR and the R is being pronounced, you do not pronounce the A as R, but you pronounce it as a schwa sound, A. Er. For example, arrest, arrange, arithmetic, arrange. All these words start with AR, 
but the ARs are not being pronounced as a single sound. The A is being pronounced as a shrill sound and the R is being pronounced differently from the A, unlike the former one considered where the ARs make up a single sound. I hope you understand what I'm saying. The AR in architects is pronounced R because the AR make up a single sound. Now, the AR in the word arrest do not make up a single sound. The A is pronounced E and R is pronounced R. So the AR, the A and the R do not make up a single sound. That's why the A has a shrill sound. But when you have the AR making up a single sound, the AR will be pronounced R and not as a shrill sound. I hope I've made it clearer now. Please note that the shrill sound is not only found at the beginning and at the end of words like you've considered. You can also see the shrill sound in the middle of words and the vowels that occur in the middle of words and those vowels are always unstressed. But there are no rules, there are no strict rules to identify them when they are in the middle of words. For example, banana, problem, terrors, particular, all these words have short sound in the middle. But there are no rules as to how to identify them when they occur in the middle of words. And always remember that any syllable of a word that contains the short sound does not attract stress. For example, the word particular has four syllables with three of them, three of the syllables having the shrill sound and the stress being in the only syllable without the shrill sound tick. I hope you understood the lesson. Now let's see this question from 2018 test of errors. Choose the word that has the same vowel as the one represented by the letter or letters underlined. Now question three, we have lawyer, lawyer, Option A, lawless, B, Larry, C, adapt, and D, flying. I told you in this lesson that when a word ends in ER, we pronounce the ER as a short sound, er, er. So the word is pronounced lawyer. And I also told you that when a word begins with an A, and the A is being followed by a consonant letter or a consonant sound, then the A will be pronounced as a short sound, er. And so the correct answer is option C. Now after this question from 2016, question 2, we have a Ford. A Ford. A, we have enjoy. The underlying letter is A. Now we have option A, enjoy. B, peck. C, water. And D, gray. So please answer the question and let me know your answers at the comment section. I hope you understood and enjoyed the lesson. Please, if you enjoyed this video, if you find this video helpful, click on the like button. Click on the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. And please share the video to your friends on social media. Share it to your friends on Facebook, on WhatsApp, any other social media. Please share it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye for now.